Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And today is the School of Prophet. I want to appreciate everyone for coming into this broadcast. It's going to be a life-changing experience for everyone who is part of this broadcast. And today we'll be sharing on something very important. Prophets and Divine Encounter. Prophets and Divine Encounter. We can also say Prophets and Divine Experience. Experience that are beyond natural explanation. Experience that exceed human understanding. You know, prophets are people sent from God to enforce the will of God in the earth. There are people sent from God to enforce the will of God in the earth. So a, a true prophet is out here to bring people into the will of God. The will of God is the major passion of a prophet. He wants to see people align themselves with a divine agenda. He wants to see people connect with divine purpose. A, a true prophet wants to ensure that God's people connect with God's will. His primary passion is to ensure that God's people make the will of God their ultimate priority. This is how you know a true prophet from God. He's always pointing people to the knowledge of the will of God. He's always inspiring them to function within the neighborhood of God's will. He's always encouraging them to embrace the will of God and make it the foundation for their lifestyle. This is how you know a true prophet. He's always engaging the people in the revelation of God's will. He ensures that every word he receives from God is consistent with God's will for his people. He's always thinking in that direction. So today we're seeing prophets and divine encounter. Divine encounters are experience that is beyond natural understanding, but can be understood from the perspective of spirituality. It, it can be understood from the, the spiritual dimension. We can have an understanding. You know, the Bible talk about that you have spiritual understanding in Colossians. I'd like us to look at this scripture in Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Uh, glory be to God in Colossians 1 verse 9. We look at this. In Colossians 1 verse 9 said, For this cause we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you, and desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. You see, it, it, it takes spiritual understanding to unlock divine revelation. So when people, when prophets have divine encounters, the purpose of the encounter is to focus them more on God's will. The purpose of the encounter is to develop their degree of confidence, boldness towards the things of the spirit. So sometimes when God gives a prophet an encounter, he's awakening the prophet. He's bringing him to a dimension of understanding where he can know that I am with you. I am with you. I'm, I'm not going to forsake you. So encounters are necessary. Divine encounters. Now, uh, we have to also look at every encounter from the perspective of God's will, which is God's word. Encounters are subject to the word of God. Encounters are subject to the word of God. But encounters leads to faith explosion. You know, one of the ways people's faith could explode and they could do the extraordinary is when they begin to have divine encounter. You know, imagine Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37 and what the Lord came to him, can these bones live? And he said, down no where's the Lord. So he told him, prophesy, Ezekiel 37, as he prophesied and the bones started coming up. And that was an encounter, that experience impacted positively on the faith of Ezekiel. There are certain encounters that the prophet have and their, their faith experience what is called faith longevity because there are people that their faith couldn't go so uh, couldn't go far forward you know they couldn't go they couldn't do more with their faith they they suddenly quitted they couldn't reach more 
they couldn't receive more they couldn't last longer in their faith work so encounters actually are faith projections encounters are faith projection encounters are faith projection because encounters brings inspiration that focus you on the ability of god encounters bring inspiration that focus you on the ability of god this is why encounters are necessary and sometimes we we can't force ourselves to have the encounters because the encounters are spiritual god decide encounters i said what god decides encounters you know god spoke to noah to build an ark now the question you have to ask is noah a carpenter <laughs> you know how did noah get to build that ark when god spoke to noah the wisdom to build the ark came to noah whenever god speaks to you the wisdom to do what he has said comes with the word he has spoken to you whenever god speaks to you the wisdom to do what he has spoken comes to you at the same time so when he told him to build the ark you know, Noah was going to build that ark based on the revelation of God's word that came to his spirit. And by that revelation, he had an inspiration. The designs came. All it takes to build it came. And he started building. So when God speaks to you, the wisdom to do what he asks you to do comes with the word he has spoken. And the faith to carry it out also comes with what he has said. When God has not spoken, you, you won't have the peace to pursue the vision. You know, this is why we need divine encounter. And encounters also can come by revelation when you have a, a, a prophetic revelation. You know, a prophetic revelation or when you have a dream or when you have a vision or an experience that exceed natural dimension. You know that in the natural you cannot unlock this experience, that, but you can only unlock this experience by God giving the experience. So divine encounters are being interpreted with, from spiritual understanding. If you don't have spiritual understanding, you won't be able to explain divine encounter. And there are certain encounters that cannot be explained because they were actually an impartation that came into your spirit. Spirit. There are certain encounters you can explain. You, you, there are certain visions you won't be able to explain from a natural dimension. You won't be able to find words to articulate the experience you had. So, but, but those are actually impartations that were installed into your spirit. And, and those impartations have uh, ability to inspire you to function in a realm that God wants you to function from. You know those encounters so what happened is that prophets have encounters encounter strengthening one of the beauties of encounters from God when you have an encounter with God an experience with God is that it strengthens your faith it, it helps to produce faith longevity you know when you remember the experience you had with the Lord the encounters the like I remember many years ago the uh, uh, is it two or three years ago I had a vision you know I had a vision uh, when the Lord spoke to me in that vision, he said, you are my prophet. Then I heard people that were behind him and said, our prophet. You know, when the Lord spoke, you know, he said, you are my prophet. Then I heard people behind him said, our prophet. That was a, a, a very powerful encounter I had. I, I never called myself a prophet. I never wanted to be a prophet. But when the Lord appeared in that vision and told me, you are my prophet, faith man, you are my prophet. And I heard people behind said, our prophet. And I woke up. That was an encounter. You know, that was an encounter. You know, I woke up. I woke up. Like I knew from that vision, that was an encounter. Now, the next encounter I had was I, I had, I was sleeping and I had this dream. In that dream, a, a word came. It said, my covenant is with you. You know, that's another, my, my covenant is with you. I was literally vibrating on the bed where I was lying down. I was vibrating, you know, and I woke up, you know, and I heard that word, my covenant is with you. These are encounters that exceed natural, it exceed natural explanation. The encounters, it, it takes spiritual understanding to unlock the experience. It takes spiritual understanding to know that this is not ordinary. This is not ordinary. You know, some encounters, the purpose of the encounter is to strengthen your work with God. Uh, another purpose of the encounter is to keep you focused. 
The reason for divine encounters is that God wants to strengthen your walk with Him. He wants to keep you focused. And the reason for encounter is to reassure you that you are in my will. Sometimes God gives you an encounter. Maybe you, you are having some challenges. Am I in the will of God? Is it the will of God for this season? And suddenly you have an encounter. And that encounter can keep you focused that you are actually in the will of God. Encounter also helps to bring stability. You know, sometimes people are either up or this way. They are not stable in their walk with God. And suddenly they have an encounter from God. And that encounter brought spiritual stability you know the encounter brought spiritual stability another purpose of encounter is that encounter confirms revelations it confirms certain revelations or prophetic experience you had you know so when the lord brings an encounter it comes to confirm certain things you have received as a person so divine encounters are required for spiritual journey divine encounters are required for spiritual journey the, the more the encounters the stronger you become in your dealing with spiritual things the things that concern in the kingdom you know you can imagine someone you went out and you, you you saw a blind man and you put your hand on his blind man and his eyes open that is an experience it, it has a way of strengthening your faith you know most times people backslide or backslide it depends on how you want to call it backslide or backslide uh, based on their inability to have some encounters with god and we can be reading the word of god and suddenly we have this revelation in the scripture and suddenly something came into our spirit we just need that this is not ordinary. So encounters are platform in which we can express spiritual potential. They are platform. Encounters are platform. So sometimes when you have an encounter, it's like a platform that God is giving to you. Say, so, okay, you can rise from this angle. You can move to this level because encounters inspire. Encounters inspire. You know, there is a, a boldness will generate from the place of encounter. There is a boldness, you know, You even when you don't have anyone to support you or to encourage you and uh, you don't have anyone to support you. But you remember the encounters you had with the Lord. Because in the place of encounter is the place of inspiration. It is a place of life. It is a place of open heaven. That something is happening to you that is beyond natural connection. In the natural, you may not be able to connect it to anything, but your spirit man is bearing a witness that this is an experience with God. It is an encounter. You know, sometimes when I had this encounter many years ago, that should be three to four years ago, I think four to three, four, four years ago, in that encounter, the Lord said, that the more you pray, the more you see. That was what he told me. He said, the more you pray, the more you see, the, the more you pray, the more you see. So I woke up and I wrote it down. That was an encounter. That was an encounter. That encounter was getting me ready for another dimension of a prayer life. So encounters point you to a spiritual action or responsibility you should be carrying out. Sometimes an encounter comes to point you to a spiritual responsibility. That you have to carry out an encounter. It, it points you to a spiritual responsibility. Sometimes when God wants to move you to the next level, he gives you an encounter. And the encounter ignites the fire. Encounter ignites the fire. You know, there is just fire in your spirit. The, an encounter ignites the fire. Maybe you are praying for 10 minutes before, 20 minutes before. And the Lord gave you an encounter and told you, if you pray... You will see greater things of the spirit maybe in a vision maybe in a dream and you heard that and you woke up from the sleep within you something resonates you know within you something rises and you just know hey i need to pray to see that the lord has spoken to me so encounters brings divine atmosphere and it brings a shift in your spiritual work Encounters, it brings a shift in your spiritual work. Encounters also lead to conviction, to conviction that produce spiritual experience that is consistent with the will of God. 
Encounters brings conviction. You know that this is God. This is where God is moving me to. This is what God is saying. This is what God is doing. So encounter brings some conviction. And with this conviction, you're able to assess certain dimension that you have never experienced concerning your work with the Lord. You know, when God was talking about Moses, he said, I talked to him face to face. This is a man he consistently had an encounter with. He constantly had a, a talk with you know he said i talked to moses face to face they oh, 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 mouth to mouth sorry that's the right word. i talked to moses mouth to mouth they, they talk you know he talks to him and moses talks back with him and he, you, you see that moses was one of the the bible said that moses was the one of the was the meekest man on the face of the earth this man was the meekest man on the earth and this man was having encounters with god as a prophet we don't seek encounter we seek fellowship but in fellowship encounters will come we don't set our time say oh god appear to me oh god appear to me oh god do this no you just maintain a relationship with god you just stay in the word you just listen to the holy ghost as you stay faithful encounters will begin to happen manifestation because god likes to talk to his people God likes to appear to his people. God likes to minister to his people. When you are in the field serving the Lord, when you are in the field serving, imagine if you are an American soldier. I have one of my spiritual daughters, she's an American soldier. You know, the American soldier, uh, the, the American government takes care of them. They ensure that they are well, they are well taken care of, they are feeding well, they are eating well, they are well taken care of. If the government of a nation can invest in her military how much more heavenly father how much more Abba father so he knows that you are in the field and if you're faithful doing what God has called you to do he will keep giving you an encounter that will help you to stay in the journey of your destiny a lot of people started losing fire because they first started losing focus on the assignment they started losing the fire because they started losing focus on what God has called them to do. And when people are losing focus on what God has called them to do, then they are not creating an atmosphere where they can have a consistent encounter. Encounter can be consistent there. Actually, is directly also related to individuals. Encounters can be consistent. That a man is having a regular visitations from the Lord. A regular visitations from the Lord, a, a, a regular visitation from the Lord. So he, he wants you to have a continuous encounter. Because with that encounter, you're able to rise beyond limitations. You start seeing yourself speaking in tongues. You know, when it comes to speaking in tongues, there are dimensions of tongues. You know, you you, you know, for some people they have been in one particular level of speaking in tongue you know the same language but the more you choose to fellowship with god it changes your your tongue is tongue the vocabulary changes you know things changes you know there is a growth in tongues there is a growth in tongues that as you're praying in the spirit there is a progression that is flowing you know you're having this flow you know for some people it's dry you know but but, but if we, if we stay with the word if we stay with the Holy Ghost, there's going to be unusual visitation of these encounters. Now, praying in the Spirit is the gateway to greater visitations of the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, it is a gateway to greater visitations of the Spirit. This is why we pray in tongues. This is why I tell people, read your Bible, pray in the Holy Ghost. Read your Bible, pray in the Holy Ghost. Read your Bible, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you pray more in the Spirit, you are creating an atmosphere where the presence of God will be made manifest. There is the manifest presence of God. The presence of God is everywhere, but the presence of God is not manifested everywhere. 
There is a manifest presence of God as we pray in the Holy Ghost. Likali do salaba, lengro do seketeli kapara, rekoma zukapla dens ketolim bragada, rekama lute kerebo sakala. I hear the Lord saying, when my people begin to spend more time praying in the Spirit, the flood gate will be open, and there will be a flood of the Spirit that will come into their soul, into their spirit man, to empower them for supernatural result. Lakiga meleke to lansa ligi krato o makalito rikama sokababa. The things of the spirit is not difficult as you think. Most time, all you need is to set time aside. As you begin to pray in the spirit, I will unlock things to you that the natural man cannot be able to receive. Lekama alus keto ringro shakaba lekika prato sababa. I'm calling you to come up higher, higher in the things of the spirit, higher in the things of the spirit. The more you come up higher, the greater visitation, the greater manifestation. Lekama zukapra dose keto ringra rekama sokaba. My grace is sufficient for you. You already have my grace. And if you walk in the revelation of my grace, then you will see more manifestations. Nothing is impossible for the man who trusts in the leading of the Spirit. There is no limitation. All you need is revelation of my will. As you fellowship with my word, you will have a revelation of my will. This catalababa, there is no atmosphere too difficult for a man who is spiritually minded. A man that is spiritually minded can subdue any atmosphere. Leke poroto sakababa. Every activity you see in the natural that looks like a violent have a spiritual relationship. Stop looking at things from the natural dimension. Look at it from a spiritual perspective. You will know there are spirits at working on these things. This is why you gotta pray in the spirit and use your authority to decide the atmosphere when we pray in the spirit it helps us to take charge of the atmosphere there are some of you right now you're praying the holy ghost something is happening to you the lord will grant you utterance to take the lead he reveals things to those who are in fellowship with him god has a word for you in this season the word is that you can go beyond him you can do more you can do more says the lord Lendo Usula, Lendo Lumba Sandalinga Basuntaba, Rinkrodo Suntaligra do Sakaba, Ricale de Posoturi Garaba. There is no limitation to the man who walk in my world. Le Kiga Kotun Sle Koto. There is no limitation to a man who walk in my world. Le Kinga Kama Sakaba, Le Kama Sukale Le Peso Kobaba, Linderebo Sakaba. You can see, you can hear, and you can receive. Le Ndolu Uzukambra do Sala. Yes, you're not supposed to be a victim because you walk with me. If you walk with me, says the Lord, you'll be able to hear about the future. I want to reveal the future to you. I want to talk to you about the future. The future is uh, your future is my past, this says the Lord. I see your future. If you walk with me, I will reveal more to you. I will show you what they're about to do. I will tell you what to do, how to navigate. The more you pray in the spirit, you become more sensitive to the climate of my word. Walking in the climate of my word is the key. An atmosphere of my word, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Oh, likama saba baba basha katalim ragada. All things are possible. Linke de baba shaka baba. Likoma soko likra paso baba. Yes, yes. You 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 can have this regular visitation of the spirit of God where you have this manifestation that these visitations of the spirit. Likama soka baba. There are many of you here watching for for some time. You have not had a vision. You have not had a dream. But the Lord is saying, I want to show you 
I want to show you, be sensitive to this season. Things are changing. Makuli kampra tose kawa. Rikante lebro tosan la baba sonobo. Lindo robo shakawa. Limitations are broken. Likama sokoto ribra katawa. Limitations are broken. You can do more. Listen to the Spirit. Listen to the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. I felt the anointing come upon someone right now. You're praying in the Spirit and something is happening to you. Mashakawa. There's a lady, you're pregnant with a very strong apostolic ministry you know your god has put something in you that so many people around you can see it they can see it and and sometimes you, you you feel like god is not with you because of the things you're experiencing and there is this apostolic anointing on your life now listen to this our god is a god of submission he is a God of honor and he's telling me to say this to you get ready you are close to a due season get ready something is about to break something is about to come to you in this season something is about to break out around you and I hear the Lord opened a book in this book uh, there are books in the book you know there are books in the book and in the books, I saw you writing at books out of it. You know, you're writing, the book has books. Oh, glory, my shakliba. Recover, receive an encounter in the name of Jesus. Rikoma saliko robo santa. Lento robo sakali kroto salaba. Likaba. Yes, yes, your, 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 your city. I hear the Lord said, if my people will speak my word, will exhort my word their city will experience my peace the lord said i put you in that city as a watchman you are a watchman in that city don't give up on the city you're a watchman you're a watchman as a watchman of the Lord, the Lord has invested so much in you. Mokokika, le desko doska, le malun brado salade posulababa. You are conceiving greater things of the Spirit as you're watching. And you're going forward to produce amazing results. Yes, amazing results. There are most of you watching right now but the anointing is coming upon you. You, you you felt the power of god you felt the power of god you felt the power of god coming upon you and receive in the name of jesus yes someone right now you felt something walked away from you you know you you felt something leaving your body yes something is gone and you're free by the spirit you're, you're free by the holy ghost yes there is someone you're feeling a heat in your hand you're feeling a heat yes something like a heat warm sensation you know like a heat yes the power of god is on you yes yes the power of god is on you yes yes thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father the encounter the encounter the encounter as you worship, as you pray in the Holy Ghost, then the experience will break out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Liko masalobo, leke turobo sali katalamblo, bokoli ali de de boshlo, ladya katorembo sali grados andaba. Yes, you can hear, you can see. I will cause your eyes to be open to see clarity of vision. Yes, visions. They will be able to explain to my people. This is the direction you need to go in this season, says the Lord. Likuma Alendo. Likita Kratos. There is someone here. You 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 your tongues, you're not being able to pray in tongues like you used to pray. And like the tongues are seasoned, your tongue is loose. Likuma Alibasuli Araba. Receive a fresh fire. Likuma as a door. Bridesk tung likam bradosabba. Your tongue is loose. Your tongue is loose. Likama suka. You've been having some challenges with praying in the spirit. Likuma and the bo. Sandali Bragaraba Soko, Lindo Reboshaka, Lindo Roboshaka, Lindo on the Oli Adabalido Protosa. Yes, I saw a man of God, but sometimes you have not been able to pray. This weakness, whenever you want to pray, this weakness just come and you have not been able to push the way you used to receive grace to break free from this demonic conspiracy. I, I command that spirit cursing that situation. Go 
in the name of Jesus right now. I release the fire of God in your soul to pray in the Holy Ghost. There's a lady here, you're watching me. I felt the Lord smiling at you. Yes, the Lord is smiling at you. And something amazing is going to happen to you before the end of today. You're going to have an experience. And this experience will let you know that you've stepped into a new season. Receive greater unction. The fire of God is falling on you. Yes, the fire of God. You that spend time fasting and praying, the Lord said, I will reward your time with me. I will reward your time with me. And I will cause you to hear. I will cause you to see. And I will cause you to speak my word. You will hear the sound of heaven. You will hear the sound of heaven. And then you will know that the Lord is the one speaking to you. The Lord is the one speaking to you. Something is happening to you right now. While I was speaking, you started vibrating. Yes, receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Yes, you can feel that where you are. That's the power of God. That's the presence of the Spirit of God. Yes, pray for your city. Yes, yes, the Bible said affliction will not rise for the second time. But if we don't pray, the affliction will rise. For that will pray against every form of affliction. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Encounters. Quickens. And encounters. Strengthens. And encounters empowers encounters quickens encounters strengthens and encounters empower there's someone watching right now there is a fire of the spirit coming upon your prayer life coming upon you receive in the name of Jesus and from this day forward greater things receive an encounter receive an encounter receive a visitation from the Lord in Jesus' name, Amen. Glory be to God. I felt the presence of God all over the place. Most of you here will be will be seeing all kinds of visitations of the Spirit, all kinds of glory. Now, the, the glory of the Lord is 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 here very strong, and. There are people watching this broadcast that the, the glory of the Lord is coming upon you and you're, you're going to do extraordinary things. Isaiah 60 verse 1, he said, Rise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. May this glory be in full operation, yes, in full manifestation, in full release. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you're watching this broadcast and you've not known Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're not yet born again and you're watching me and you want to receive Christ into your life, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I receive you. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord. I believe in my heart that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, you're born again. And you can look for Bible Believing Church where you can grow in your walk with the Lord. Thank you for all the ministers that are watching this meeting all over the world. Thank you for coming. It's always a joy to teach and to bring forth God's word. Now, we are having uh, pastors and leaders conference, apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers. Next week is going to be on 11th of July to 16th of July by 7 a.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be a week of teaching concerning ministry. I'd like you to plan to attend this conference. It's going to be airing live here. And I want you to invite your friend who is a pastor, a bishop, an apostle, a prophet. There are certain things the Lord is sharing with me in this season concerning ministry. I believe that if you will listen in these six days that is ahead of us, you will never remain the same. I feel the anointing. I feel that grace to break limitation for people to be able to begin to step into dimensions that is not common. So I want you to get ready from 11th of July, which is this month we are into 2016, and to 17th. And you will never remain the same because the anointing is, is the, the word of God is coming and there will be liberation in the people's spirit and soul. Hallelujah. So we're encouraging people also to partner with this conference. We're encouraging people to partner with us in this conference. We have a lot to do to fix concerning this conference. So you can do it on your PayPal. It's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. Faithmanteaching 
at gmail.com would like you to partner with us in this conference whatever the lord will be leading in your heart to sow to support this conference will be appreciated we love you thank you so much for being a partner it is on gmail you go to uh, you go to paypal fateman teaching at gmail.com fateman teaching at gmail.com partner with us in this conference and we know the world will be coming we're able to subscribe to get all the things we need to make a difference is going to happen yeah yeah so it's going to happen and uh, yes apostle aaron god is taking you to greater height i hear the lord telling you focus on my word focus on my word don't quit on the limitations you're seeing there is a great future for you apostle aaron i see you doing great work for the lord the lord is telling me to tell you this focus on my word focus on my word there is so much that the lord is bringing out of you in this season and there is so much the lord is putting inside of you in this season i see the lord removing some things out of you and i saw the lord putting some things in you he's investing some things in you so spend some quality time praying the holy ghost and there'll be greater release of the spirit hallelujah now we're encouraging people to subscribe to our youtube channel is faith man teaching on youtube uh is, is faith man teaching on youtube you can subscribe to the youtube channel and you can have all our videos and teachings coming right straight to you and these teachings are life-changing with the power to transform inspire and help you fulfill your destiny thank you for watching this broadcast today don't forget there is greatness in you pray for this ministry because it's reaching more and more people every day around the world thank you for being a friend and thank you for being a partner we're looking forward towards a partnership and you can do it on paypal is faithman teaching at gmail.com some people may say possible but i don't want to do paypal you can do moneygram you can do western union and you can also do bank transfer as the lord leads you so you can connect with us on facebook is Faith Man or Weather on Facebook. Faith Man or Weather on Facebook. And when you connect with us, your life will never remain the same. We love you. And I see you next time. Don't forget, there is greatness in you. Blessings to you.